Man, Apple is just on a roll this week. They just pushed out iOS 11.4.1 developer beta one. And this of course coming just a day after the release of iOS 11.4. They don't wanna stop there, even though iOS 11.4 was great. Of course, gotta keep improving here. So what's new, what's changed and everything you need to know about it. First off, it's a huge update. Like for me on my iPhone 10, 2.2 gigabytes, massive, took a while. And there's no official change log. All it says is that there's fixes and improvements. Now, uh, before updating, I had this much, 56.95 gigabytes after 57.88 available. So actually gave me a little bit back, which with a new software update is pretty common. So of course, as usual, after updating, I went through it, comparing it to my iOS 11.4 device over here. And namely, I figured that Apple would be changing things over here with the uh, HomePod interface, and I tried to use it. It's still kind of laggy on 11.4.1 as well. It's not very responsive responsive. Uh, I'm sure that they're going to improve that with time, but I figured that's what they would change. Really no difference there. So uh, going through it, I was unable to find any new settings, really nothing different. My take on iOS 11.4.1 is that Apple wants to perfect the software and make it as good as they can get it before the release of iOS 12. And with 11.4.1, it's basically the equivalent of iOS 10.3.3 from last year, where they basically made it fast, speedier, basically what it should have been at launch. And this is for the older devices that get dropped before the new release. So it's very possible that Apple is finishing up iOS 11.4 for the iPhone 5S and like the older iPads, since they might not be getting an iOS 12 update. Yes, we did hear that they would be, but uh, that could change. So that's my personal prediction. Other than that, it's really nothing to report aside from the feedback app. It's back. So go ahead and report any bugs you might have had. Overall, though, I'm hearing very good things about 11.4 from everybody. Really no bugs to uh, be heard of. They fixed several annoying ones, such as the app flow floating around and uh, they fixed the out of order iMessages, the black dot bugs. So all of those big annoying bugs were fixed. Of course, there will always be bugs, but uh, it seems pretty dang good on 11.4. Anyways, let's go ahead and run a Geekbench here, see the numbers once again, which I don't really expect to change. And just trying out a couple things to see maybe Apple patched some fun bugs that we like, but apparently not. The blank icon bug is still there. Speaking of blank icons, the no animation bug still works. So really, what is this update even for? I cannot put a finger on him. Probably just stability and bug fixes, which isn't a bad thing. You know, it just, we're so used to seeing new features, but hey, a stability update once in a while will do no harm. And there's iOS 11.4.1, next 11.4, really not much of a difference here. Still feels just as good. And uh, lastly, I just wanted to see if the respring bug has been fixed here. Apple usually takes those pretty seriously. So going into edit here to edit to these, going up here to edit also, and uh, if we add one here and then do done and click done, will it respring? Did Apple really just patch that? Oh no, they did not. So it does respring after all. Okay guys, so there's iOS 11.4.1 with some hearty good bug fixes. Really nothing to complain about, but also nothing to report. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for iOS 12. Peace.